catch back, bro. Uh, Cabrón. No, a este perro le estoy hablando, bro. tío. Puta, mátenle a este perro. Mátenlo. Ahí salió, ahí salió. What's good, Boosh fam? Papa Boosh in the house, in the flesh. Back out again with another BR video for y'all. Uh, and today's video is gonna be a little bit more different. Gonna add a little bit more commentary. Gonna go through going through some uh, clips of my clutches, some dubs, as well as my mistakes, I believe. Um, I've been inspired by Zara, Carnarco, you all know the vibes, my two biggest inspirations in the game. As well as my Warzone streamers that I like watching. Uh, his name goes by Joe Wall. One of the best movement players in the Warzone game. So it just made me want to do videos like this. As well, maybe it may give you guys a different perspective. As well as my input when I do uh, solo versus squads, duos, or whatnot, and how I think. So if this is something that you guys will enjoy or something you guys want me to do more often, comment down below, let me know. Uh, we'll see how the video goes at the end for you guys. But um, I just want to say last uh, i appreciate everyone's support again we hit 13k subscribers which is unbelievable uh, i've been doing this for a year now and it's just crazy how much support and love i get from you guys so thank you guys again uh if there's anything else you guys want to ask me comment down below if there's anything else you guys want me to work on uh just put it in the comment section y'all let me know and i'll try to cook something up in the works for you guys other than that y'all stay safe much love and respect. Bye. Right. Hey, Bush. Why don't you take your time, bro? Just take your time. Oh, yeah, they came to text me. Or they're not going to leave. They're going to leave either. Uh so as you can see in this situation, my teammate's down. His dog tags are popped up. Probably got about 30 or more seconds to retrieve his dog tags. But my main concern is not that. The real problem is, is the squad that's near his dog tags. Now, most of you may know me as Narco student. Now, one thing I learned from Narco is that he likes to take advantage of the zone. Right now, this is just the first zone, so it's not too bad, not too much damage to worry about. As well as that, I'm also a medic class, as well as having seven med kits. I think this is enough for me to stay around stay put be patient and use as much medicine as i can until the squad leaves but that's the problem there's three members or three squad mates right in front of me by jun's dog tags these guys are not leaving they're camping tags because they know i'm somewhere around here and they want to eliminate us um there's a orv there if you want you can run the asses over i don't know how good of an idea that is What do you have? Well, since this squad is sticking around, I'm gonna stay in the zone as much as possible until they reposition themselves, as well as I'm keeping an eye on the revival flight time, waiting for it to decrease a little bit more, as well as keeping one eye on the enemy squad. Now, as you can see, the enemy squad is approaching to my position. This is the perfect time to reposition myself, scoop up the dog tags, and do my thing. You're gonna have to jump it, bro. That's one that killed me. Jump, jump, jump. God damn. Put your hand medic. Now I know majority will ask why did you stop Bougie just to scan John in? Well, like I mentioned, I'm keeping an eye on the revival flight time. I have about 10 seconds in, as well I know there's only one enemy behind me. Now how do I know that? Well, we've been in the outside zone for a while now. Majority of this squad has been shooting me ever since, as well as chasing me, besides the guy who landed behind me when I was healing up behind the haystack. Now that being said, them doing all that, I know in the back of my head that this squad needs to heal up. So I'm going to take advantage of that. While that squad is healing up, knowing that there's only one player behind me as well, 
gonna take my chances dodging bullets while scanning the dog tags in, trying to confuse this player where my current location's at. Hey, papi, me escucha? Me escucha? Now knowing that one's gonna be behind healing up, I have a chance to escape once more again. But keep in mind that the guy in the snowboard is now chasing me. The only hope I have right now is taking them on this small shelter. But it's a good thing because you know why? It's gonna be a 1v1 fight. I'm uh, at, um, I'm just gonna shut up. Mantine me. Nice, Ruby. Yes, sir. I right here. With this new season and update, players seem to be a lot more aggressive, and squads seem to play as a squad by sticking together like glue. But at the end of the day, I like the challenge. Your game plan here. Hell yeah, it's multiple. I'm getting. Now we all heard it many times that any player who has the high ground has the higher advantage compared to the players who have the low ground. Well, not in this case. Laser. Push I'm backing up a little bit. Like I mentioned, players are a lot more aggressive and a lot more confident. The mistake that this squad did was that they were landing one by one on us, which made it a lot more easier for John and I to take on. As well as using Narco's biggest tips in the open field, always try to use slopes, any cover to take on squads or any enemies, just like in this situation. Air check. Oh, I need help. There's two. Oh, that's not you on the right. I thought that was you on the right of me. Watch out to your right behind. So as you can see, this is a very tough and uh, intense situation. But this is where all your training comes to play. Your game sense, accuracy, weapon skill, movement, thinking, all this your game sets comes to play at this very moment. I'm going to explain step by step what I was thinking. I try to land on this player before my partner gets knocked or killed. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too late. Since that player didn't know I'm behind him, I'm going to go try to knock him out, kill him and confirm it since it was such an easy kill. But seeing the medic behind him and his partner, I had to make it quick, slide to my right where there was cover so the person couldn't get me. Unfortunately, a third player has popped up behind me. Instead of engaging and try to drop shot or try to kill this guy, I'm dodging bullets trying to heal up as much as possible 
use my snowboard and get the heck out of there. Because if I engage with that player, his partners would have come down by that uh, left hand side you saw. Take me out easy. So I guess what I'm trying to explain in this clip is learn to engage and then learn as well to disengage. Pay attention to your surroundings. Uh, hopefully your reflexes are a lot quick, fast or whatnot when it comes to situations like this. But you don't always have to engage squads. Always try to leave, live to fight another battle. So that's what I did here. And yeah, let's uh, replay the clip without any interruptions. Yeah, trap master. Yep, 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 yep. Get your game plan here. Oh shit! Hell yeah, it's multiple. Oh, I'm getting lasered. Bruce, I'm backing up a little bit. Yep. Fine, leave the bot alone. The two. Oh, that's not you on the right. I thought that was you on the right of me. They're low though. Watch out to your right. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Behind you. Oh, nice. Oh, no, that didn't help. That didn't help. Snowboard. God damn, fucking snowboard. Good shit, bro. Don't worry about me, bro. Do your thing. Oh, I'm dead anyway, so. Yeah, bro. Nice. Bro, this shit's fucking crazy. This came out of nowhere. They say all legends has a story to tell. But I'm no legend, nor I'm no hero. I am a survivor. I'm Bougie, and this is my story.